You had uh, commodities were big in the 1970s. Then starting with Reagan and Thatcher, you had paper money was took took the place of commodities from the early 1980s up until 2022. So that's a 42 year period when paper ruled over commodities. And in 2022, now we're back to commodities ruling the global economy. And the ultimate commodity is Bitcoin. You know, it's the fastest horse in the race, as Paul Tudor Jones has called it. That's still true today as it was three or four years ago. So if you love um, commodities, you're, you are going to be ecstatic about Bitcoin because it's the ultimate synthetic digital commodity. Popular Bitcoin OG and former host of the Kaiser Report, Max Kaiser, says the era of fiat currencies has ended and we are going back to the reign of commodities. But what other commodity is greater than Bitcoin? the world's largest cryptocurrency by market cap and undeniably the best asset of the past decade. The American filmmaker and broadcaster also talks about the psychological effect of buying Bitcoin. Once you buy Bitcoin, you never want to stop stacking up the sats because you realize the importance of what you have in your hands. Bitcoin is going to easily shape and reshape many sectors in the future. And that is why we have experts like Kaiser and Michael Saylor so vocal in their support for the asset. If you need a few more reasons about why you should continue to stack those satoshis, Please watch this video to the end and smash the like button. We also love to hear from you. So ensure you drop your comments in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. Mm, well, uh, The Economist magazine put out, a, put out a story, put out a cover this week, basically that says the Fed has failed, right? So now for year after year, uh, for the last 20 years, 25 years through Greenspan, Bernanke, Janet Yellen, Jay Powell, there's been this huge global coordinated talking point agenda that central banks are infallible. We've had some famous magazine covers before after the 2008 crisis. We had the Committee to Save the World, which was Greenspan, Larry Summers and Bob Rubin. Uh, we have this constant lionization of central bankers as heroes uh, that money printing and keeping rates artificially low is heroic uh, behavior by the mandarin kings that run the central bank and um, now finally the economist has admitted that it was a, a huge canard it was a failure it's a gigantic failure as we've been saying now for um, almost 20 years that you cannot print your way to prosperity all, all of the, you know, Stacey, uh, for years, people have been saying that the um, amount of people being pulled out of poverty in, around the world is in the hundreds of millions and billions. And I would say, well, if it's if it's all fake money, then it's a Ponzi scheme and it will blow up. So now we've got millions and billions going back into poverty, uh, especially in mm. countries like the UK, where they're saying that it's been flagged as really the worst uh, in the in the in the eurozone, uh, they're they're looking for a recession coming very soon. They've got energy um, insecurity and food insecurity in the United States. Food insecurity is happening for real, and it looks like it's going to happen in a big way in all over Europe. You've got food insecurity. So, the 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 fiat money decades mm. only worked if you could principally the principal way the fiat money fraud worked was to hide true to price discovery in the commodity sector so energy and agriculture and metals price discovery was kept artificially low through money printing and uh just a couple of months ago you know um we have a big commodity producer out there in eurasia that said you know what i think we're going to call time on this now we're entering a period of commodity price discovery where commodities are going to go up, 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 up. And everybody tied to the paper money world will become increasingly more impoverished. Only Max Kaiser can use words like orgasm and G-spot when talking about Bitcoin. Of course, he has also described the asset as the mummelus of money and said that buying Bitcoin is having balls. Kaiser bought his first Bitcoin when the asset was only $1 per coin in 2011. So it is not surprising that he is so invested in promoting the asset. In his interview, the Kaiser also comments on the situation of the global economy and the rapid decline of many fiat currencies. Please listen to his explanation of how the world's governments are sending hundreds of millions of people around the world straight into poverty. It has the added attraction of it 
makes people insatiably um, um, curious to own it. It makes uh, it, it 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 creates infinite demand amongst human beings. So that's a there's a psychological commodity crossover bitcoin and the human psyche people once they start buying it like michael saylor and others they can't stop buying it so that that's a psychological aspect right we don't know what's on the other side of the bitcoin singularity yeah so people are buying it it's uh it creates infinite demand uh in with bitcoin and we see that with a few people um that are simply just going to keep buying it no matter what and that's spreading all over the all over the world, and it leads to the hyper Bitcoinization. It leads to a global Bitcoin standard, and it leads to the collapse of fiat money, and kind of the abandonment of gold uh, in a lot of ways. Yeah. So, what's on the other side of the Bitcoin singularity? We we can only speculate. I, in my view, it's the big uh, global orgasm of hard money, which uh, means all of our subconscious and unconscious minds fuse together. In, in what I call the monetary G spot. And that's what's on the other side of the Bitcoin singularity. That's how I see it. That's what I think will happen. We're gonna have a love explosion. The signs are becoming clearer and they all point to one simple fact. The fiat rule is over. The dollar has lost 97% of its value over the past century. And it is arguably one of the world's strongest currencies. As American billionaire investor Ray Dalio recently explained in one of his interviews, we are entering a new era where different commodities and stores of value will aggressively compete to be the world's reserve currency. With its great qualities and use cases, it would hardly be a competition for Bitcoin. What assets do you see competing for dominance within the next decade and which is your ultimate champion? Let us know what you think in the comments section below and don't forget to smash the like button. Looking to start trading cryptocurrencies but don't know where or how to begin? BitGet Cryptocurrency Exchange is a great place to start your crypto trading journey. One of the top five futures exchanges on the market, BitGit is your one-stop shop for everything crypto. You can deposit, withdraw or transfer over 200 cryptocurrency assets. BitGit features both spot and futures with competitively low fees and easy-to-follow instructions so anyone can trade on BitGit, anytime, anywhere. One very popular feature of the cryptocurrency exchange is its copy trading feature that allows users to copy the trading strategies of experienced traders. In the little time since its launch, the copy trading feature has attracted almost 20,000 traders and over 80,000 copiers around the world. With one quick click, you can begin your copy trading journey on BitGet and earn profits like any pro. BitGet offers users many other innovative products including the possibility of trading without converting tokens. It also has a state-of-the-art security protocol, excellent customer service, and a dedicated derivatives exchange. Plus, BitGit does not require a KYC verification process before users can enjoy all of its amazing features. Start your profitable trade today. All you need is just to copy the trades of experienced traders. Plus, when you sign up with BitGit, you get up to $153 in welcome bonus. Get started immediately by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.